I got to be honest with you. While Undisputed uh, is a pretty good game on release, um, we have some issues. We have a major issue with the competitive nature of this game. Uh, now, if you know, three years ago, this game was called Esports Boxing Club. If you know about esports, it means that there's a way for you to make sports profitable, whether that's gambling or just getting paid to competitively compete uh, with the sport, gaming specifically. Um, I think the intentions were to get this game to a simulation level to the point where you could, um, you know, fight competitively or in competitions, tournaments, have actual rankings. That was the idea. That is the idea of uh, Steel City Interactive with this game. But major mistake releasing a game where you can fight online and quit and not and not count against you. It doesn't count against you to quit in this game. That's that's a major problem because a lot of people are 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 at the top of the leaderboards with fraudulent records. You see people up there 32 and 0, 40 and 1, 32 and 3. It's cuz they've been quitting matches. Not saying nobody's good at the game, but I mean, come on, man. Like you can you can't really you can't really like you can't really operate in a way like you know you're going to beat this person and dominate a fight online rank and then they just take the L. People know that uh, they can quit out and not and not count against their record and they're doing it. And that's that's the day and age we live in, guys, where, you know, there's no integrity, not even in a video game, you know, not even in where you're, you know, if you're sitting next to somebody and uh, y'all are playing next to each other locally then obviously there's a, an honor code. You see this guy spamming shots. He's not really doing anything deliberate. I've beat him down. You know he spammed body shots. He's in slow footwork. It's the sixth round, guys. He's in slow footwork. It's the sixth round. At this point, I've picked him apart. I've beat him to the body. I've hit him with my jab. Um, he's doing all of that. I, I don't really know how do you expect to win. He, he could win against somebody that's just doing the same thing back. I'm picking my shots deliberately. I'm not rushing. I'm taking some shots, but nothing with any power on it. I'm making sure I don't take any shots with power on it. So, yeah, this. Look at this, bro. Look at the, look at the scorecards. Look at the scorecards, man. Like, this person is not gonna finish this fight. This person is not going to... You have to invoke a ban if a person dashes out. You have, now, that you have to find a way to... I, I Honestly, I haven't lagged out of any fights. Once I get into a fight, I haven't lagged out of any fights. The only time a fight doesn't finish is when somebody quits. Now, they like to do it between rounds to make it look like uh, it's a problem with the internet or, or it glitched out, but that doesn't happen. That That's not how this game lags out. That's not how this game crashes out. There will be an error code. If you crashed out, crashed out. You don't get an error code until after you get back to the main menu. That means the other person quit. So these people are out here wanting to compete, wanting to spam and cheese. And if they spam and cheese doesn't work, they quit, yo. Like, th this is this is a detriment to the online gaming community, as usual. Now, you see me. I see he's, he's too tired to do anything. So I run in at him, hit him with my pieces, and I'm back out of range. I haven't thrown many power shots in this fight because I was waiting until around this time, actually. I knew fifth, sixth, seventh round, he was out of there. He's got Rocky, so Rocky has crazy heart. He's got crazy uh, cut resistance, swelling resistance, uh, body and head health. He's got all of that. So uh, I already knew here, you know, I, sometimes I throw shots that I know are going to miss because it makes the person open up. A person closed up like this in a, a high guard. I just need them to open up. So I'm just in front of them, fainting, uh, doing little actions, throwing a little soft jab out there. Yeah, you see, I throw my jab, he starts throwing his jab. So now he's opening back up. Now I know uh, the time's almost near. I reach out with a, a swinging, a looping right hook that connects. Um, I'm pretty much just stalking. I'm going between loose footwork and, uh, and my regular foot movements. Nice clipping with the jab. And I'm just keeping my jab out there, y'all. The jab is very effective on this game. It makes the rest of the fight really easy for you. Thank you, thank you. So the jab pops him back. I know he's hurt. I come in with another jab, hook to the body, right hook to the head, change my angle, another hook. 
Another right hook. Now I'm cutting the ring off because he's hurt. I'm reaching out. I'm lunging a lot, but I know I am, so I stop doing it when I feel like he's going to actually see it. Just keeping my jab on him, man. So he doesn't know what to do. He's trying to stay in this corner. I reach in with my right hook, take a step back, get out of range. I thought he was going to follow me, so I threw a, a, uh, a hook on the exit. Now I'm just piecing him up. He's frustrated. Right hook to the head, keeping my jab on him. The game lets him get a phantom punch in. Okay. Okay. Nice hook to the body. And he got a little piece in, but nothing he's doing is hurting me for real. Hook to the body. I don't know how I got cut. It's getting to the point where people beg for blood so much, now you get cut every fight. It almost doesn't matter. All right, we're prancing around. We're prancing around. So I didn't get the... Now he's just standing in the bank. I didn't get the finish in this round, but I got him to open up, use some more stamina. Now I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm piecing him up. Oh, my goodness, bro. Oh, man. Joe Lewis is nasty on here. So as you see, this is what it looks like, guys. Let's go back. Let's go back 20 seconds. Okay, he's spamming his buttons. It's not working. He's not. I'm still coming forward. The jab, keeping my jab in there. Hit him with the straight. Oh, and the uppercut to end the round. He didn't like that, so he quit out. So, guys, this is it, yo. This is what it looks like when you have a quitter. Somebody who has no integrity, low character. They don't know how to take losses in life. And it translates to how they, how they interact with other people socially. Because this is a social event. You're, you're playing a game against somebody that's an actual person. It's not an AI. You know, you're in career mode. You lose a fight. You feel like you should have won. Okay, quit. Close out. Whatever. I get it. But you're fighting against somebody, man. Y'all had a good fight. You had an equal chance to win the fight. Matter of fact, you had more of a chance to win. You were spamming and teasing and exploiting the game's weaknesses. And then you quit. And then you quit because it, it doesn't work. You don't have the ability to make adjustments or uh, come up with a different strategy or do something different. Um, find a different way to play. You just quit. So these are the quitters in life, man. They followed us to Undisputed, y'all. The life quitters followed us to Undisputed. So major problem, man. They got to do something about that. I think that that's a, uh, you want people playing online ranked. That's how you keep your game alive is, is through the online community. And you created a space where people can play online but it's not a safe space because you have a way for people to, to cheat, to spam, to uh, quit out of matches. You know, you have punches that are overpowered. I, I don't really care about it because if you beat me with those punches, it's literally because I wasn't boxing. If you beat me with spamming power punches, it's literally because I wasn't boxing. I fell for your trap and you deserve to beat me. So don't worry about people spamming power punches. Just keep your distance. Keep your space. Um... Keep your timing and understand they're going to throw a power shot, especially after you land. And just start the first three rounds with just a jab. Just jab their head off for like the first two or three rounds, man. That's it. That is all. That's all you have to do. But yeah, guys. Let me get up out of here. If you like this content, hit that uh, like button. Hit the subscribe. And we out. We'll be back, man. I promise. We'll be back. We'll be beating up more spammers pretty soon.